Well, President Robert Mugabe has set Zimbabwe's election for next month, but the minister said he won't. The, the prime minister, rather, said he won't agree to hold elections on January on July 31st. Morgan Changarai said that Mugabe cannot decide on an election date without consent from other leaders in the power-sharing government. Let's get more on this now from uh, Haru Mutasa, who joins us on the line from uh, Pretoria. Haru, what, what's been the reaction to this then? Well, President Mugabe is in a power-sharing government with Prime Minister Morgan Tsvangirai, and Tsvangirai is not happy. He's basically saying that Mugabe is violating the power-sharing agreement. What people think Mugabe could be trying to do is that he's posturing ahead of a regional summit, which is taking place this weekend in Mozambique, and one issue on the agenda, possibly the main issue, is the problem in Zimbabwe. So Mugabe could be trying to push leaders to make some kind of decision quickly on any outstanding issues, so the country just gets on with it and just holds these elections. I, so some. Some officials, some politicians are saying this could be a negotiating strategy for Mugabe. That's why he's made this call, cousin. So how, how realistic will this move uh, be then? I mean, we're talking, if we're talking about July 31st, that's less than two months away. Well, people are concerned. They're saying that there's no money to hold the elections in the first place. The voter registration process is still going on. Some say it's still in the shambles. A lot of work needs to be done there. So the guys part of the NBC also want certain reforms done before the elections take place, like reforms to the media, reforms to the security sector, reforms to uh, the electoral system as well, the electoral process. So a lot of people are saying logistically it's not possible to have the elections held uh, by July the 31st. Pardon? Haru, thanks for that. Haru Matassa on the line from Pretoria.